needle stick injuries and sharp injuries are serious hazards in any healthcare setting. Now, contaminated scalpels or blades, glass, needles can actually spread the pathogens such as fungi, viruses, and bacteria. Some of the most common pathogens or diseases that you can acquire when having those injuries are HIV or the human immune deficiency virus, or hepatitis B, and hepatitis C. But there are more than 20 bloodborne pathogens that you can actually acquire when having those injuries. Nurses working in acute settings such as the ER, ICU, or any place wherein there is a rapid change or flow of work are actually at higher risk for acquiring sharp injuries or needle stick injuries. But not only nurses but as well as auxiliary staff such as cleaners also pose a higher risk of acquiring those type of injuries. Needle stick and sharp injury preventions are of higher priority in healthcare settings. That's why employers of healthcare professionals should implement the use of improved controls to reduce needle stick injuries. These are some of the things that we can do in order to prevent this type of injuries. Eliminate the use of needles where safe and effective alternatives are available, such as needle-free systems. And implement the use of devices with safety features such as these. Healthcare providers take the following additional steps. Avoid recapping needles. Plan for safe handling and disposal before beginning any procedure using needles and sharps. Dispose of used needles promptly in appropriate sharp disposal containers. Report all needle stick and sharp related injuries promptly and participate in bloodborne pathogen training and follow recommended infection prevention practices.